What's poppin', homies? What's poppin'? What's going on? Woo, child. I got a story for you guys. Someone has sent me this. Thank you, homie, for sending it to me. But, child, let's get right on into it. Man pulls out wife's teeth after learning that his three children belong to other men. According to reports, a Nigerian woman was brutally attacked by her husband after he found out that their three children are not biologically, biological kin to him. Biologically, sorry. The trouble started after the man attempted to relocate his family from Nigeria to Canada and was asked to provide DNA proof that the children belonged to him. The test showed that he was not their biological father, which resulted in him attacking his wife. After, after pouncing on the woman, the man plucked four of his wife's bottom teeth out in addition to beating her in her face. Now, now, there's a lot of people that were saying some stuff about this, and it was like, she brung it on herself, you know, you she was messing around with other women, other men and had babies by other men and it wouldn't have got out and now it got out, you know, people saying like a long story short, they saying that it's good for her. Now, I'm not trying to defend her, but I'm going to say this. He shouldn't have beat her. He was wrong for beating on her, but I don't. I, I could imagine what was in his mind at this time. He got three kids, right? You with your wife. You married to this lady. You got three kids. They got three kids together, and then he thinking they heads, right? And he's trying to move his family from Nigeria to Canada, just to find out that those kids wasn't his. It hurt. She should have took it upon herself and told this man, "Listen, these babies are not yours." But see, she was out there. Dropping it low, spreading it wide, and, and, and dividing up the goods that she got caught out there. Three children, not one kid wasn't his. Nan, ain't Nan of Nan was his. <laughs> How much we want to say? Ain't Nan Sharon was his. Three kids by this man, I mean, by somebody else, and this is your husband, and you, all three of these kids are not his. I don't feel bad. Sorry for her, I don't. But I don't think he should have beat her like that. I don't know. I he, I think he could have just said, you know what? That's it. He could. I do feel he should leave her, which he probably did. But uh, he should have just left her. Whatever he paid for the children, I think he should sue her. But then the kids, the, the innocent children are involved in this because they probably don't know that this is not their dad. They probably think that is his, they, they, their dad. You know, that's that's crazy. That's that's crazy. What y'all think about that? This is a, this is this is really a hump day story, huh? Y'all let me know in the comment section. And you see the pictures? How she all messed up. He he. Oh, he tore that face up, baby. He tore that face up. Mm mm mm. Got to be more careful, as my grandmother would say. Got to be more careful. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> wow. It's, it's sad. You know, why did she do that? You know, why? Miss Lady, why you do that? Chill. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You know, <sighs> these women better stop playing with some of these men out here. He lucky, she lucky he didn't kill her. Now, I, I don't condone any of this stuff, you know, but he was enraged. He was mad. And sometimes you can't control your feelings or your anger when something like this happened. But, uh, oh, God, she, she did bring it on herself, but still, you know, and I'm glad she's still living because whew, he, he almost could have killed her. Well, y'all let me know in the comment section what you think.